Awesome. Well, this morning, uh, New Orleans welcomes Vice President Joe Biden to town. The Crescent City is just one of three stops Biden is making as he commemorates the anniversary of the stimulus bill. WDSC reporter Kelsey Davis joins us live at the Port of New Orleans to tell us more on what we can expect from the Vice President's visit. Good morning, Kelsey. Randy, good morning. Now, just beyond the railroad tracks here is a secure area right now. We've seen lots of state police and NOPD officers heading back that way. They're getting it all secure for Vice President Joe Biden's speech here. Uh, that's going to be taking place later on this morning. We did get a glimpse of the area, though. The stage is set, and they have a beautiful backdrop of the Crescent City Connection Bridge right behind them. Uh, later on this morning, Vice President Joe Biden will be joined by Governor John Bell Edwards, Mayor Mitch Landrieu, and Congressman Cedric Richmond and other local officials as he speaks to commemorate the seventh anniversary of the American Reco Recovery and Reinvestment Act, or the stimulus bill. When President Obama signed that bill into action in 2009, New Orleans got some $26 million for the Napoleon Avenue Port Terminal improvements. That project is now 98% complete and should be finished by next month. Now, that speech is set for later on this morning, and we're told when the vice president wraps up his speech here in New Orleans, he's heading upriver, completing that three-city U.S. tour. He's off to Memphis, Tennessee next, and then St. Paul, Minnesota is where he will wrap things up. For now, reporting live outside the port of New Orleans, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News. Thanks.